As President Trump leaves office, powerful people in big tech and establishment media are going after the free speech of their opponents more aggressively than ever before. And this time, they're not even hiding it. They've removed President Trump from social media platforms, shut down his online merchandise shops, and even cut off his email service, barring communication with his supporters. And don't think for a second that this is just about one man. Officials in government are now working openly in tandem with big internet companies, and tens of thousands of others have already lost their social media accounts. Some Democrat lawmakers are speaking plainly about surveilling and silencing any and all Christian and conservative Americans, whom they paint with the broad brushes of insurrectionists, terrorists, and, in the words of Nancy Pelosi, enemies of the state. We take an oath to protect and defend the Constitution from all enemies, foreign and domestic. The domestic enemies to our voting system are right at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue with their allies, enemies of the state. On the political right, many are reeling in disbelief at this naked authoritarianism. Some are even fleeing the public square, self-censoring in an effort to avoid the onslaught. But not us. Seriously, check out what we said two whole years ago in our very first episode of CBTV. Big internet companies are silencing conservatives, and it's easy to see why. Tech leaders didn't like it when Trump won in 2016, and now they're doing their best to pave the way for Democrats to take back the White House in 2020. But the big question is, how will you react? Will you ignore the voices that are silenced? Learn to love the sources left standing, the ones approved by leftist gatekeepers? Well, here's another option. Take charge of what media you consume. Sign up for Catholic Votes The Loop, one of the few remaining ways of exchanging ideas without supervision. That's right, we at Catholic Vote, and you, subscribers to The Loop, saw this coming. That's why we made a point of building The Loop. It's a way for us to stay together, to keep you informed about what's really going on in the world, and to act as one during the important political battles that still lie ahead. Over 125,000 of you have already signed up for The Loop. But if you haven't yet, or know others who haven't, this message is for you. Sign up right now by going to catholicvote.org loop. This has been an episode of CVTV. Subscribe to CVTV on YouTube, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and sign up at catholicvote.org loop.